Hello, this is Anne Vivian. Welcome to your tarot messages by sign video for December 2021. Welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel and welcome to Creative Psyche Studio. Every month I tune into the energy of each sign by pulling some cards and just tuning in psychically, relaying messages to you to help you navigate the energy for the month ahead. I suggest that you tune into your sun sign for your general energy your rising sign also for general energy also your physical experience how you see yourself how others see you and your moon sign for your emotional intuitive experience in this month i have time stamps below if you'd like to go ahead and jump to your sign so let's begin shall we we're going to start with aries hi aries aries your tarot cards oh nice aries got ace of pentacles and six of wands i'm tuning into your energy aries energy for you for december 2021 i feel that that leadership vibe as i tune into these cards and i feel like for you aries you're feeling some you're getting some accolades you're, you're getting some recognition for your work i feel like that leadership things are flowing you might have the results the rewards come to you in december of some things that you have been working on things might the energy is feels like things are, are flowing and you might have some financial opportunities you have some opportunities to make changes in finances to create more abundance and flow in your life and I feel like Aries, you're able to be pretty objective about finances and career financial decisions as you're making plans this month and moving into the new year. You've got hope and autumn release, old and rest. So this is the angels and ancestors card and your angel card is hope. So Aries, I'm, I'm tuning into these cards for you for december i'm feeling it's really important that you do take some time to rest and that you might have an instinct to go 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 but the fall entering into the winter is a natural time for rest and it might be really helpful to schedule in some breaks for yourself to make sure that you're getting enough rest and that you're doing what you need to to renew your body I feel a lot of Aries are experiencing more hope and I feel like a compassion with a lot of Aries that you're going to be perhaps even helping others in this month, a very generous vibe. And I feel like um, an angelic message that wants to come out for you is to share your love, share your hope with others, share that Aries fire with others and it helps you to feel more inspired as well. And it helps you to be in a better mood and you're more balanced state when you're making sure and balance work and play, rest and action, self and others. And this can help you to balance your energy and be more hopeful and inspired even in December. But Aries, there's a lot of hope. There's a lot of people looking up to you. I feel like in December, there's a lot of opportunities and you're feeling more confident i feel like you have um you have opportunities to be able to um show off your ideas receive more um recognition for the projects you've begun and to use that momentum to to make plans and and build foundations for what you want to start in this new chapter and that that positive mood and that inspiration use that it's helpful to be able to make plans and look towards how you want to change and grow in the future so blessings to you aries have a beautiful december okay next we've got taurus hi taurus welcome Taurus, your tarot cards, seven of cups and two of swords. So Taurus, I'm tuning into your energy for December. Some Taurans I think might be feeling a little bit lackluster. Some Taurans might be 
wanting to issue and withdraw and reflect this month. There might be um, some backwards movement. I believe Venus does go retrograde your, unit, your ruling planet this month. I feel like a lot of Taurans are going to be looking at decisions, looking at reflecting. This is a really good time to reflect and assess and use your imagination to think about the possibilities in your life. It's a good time to um, reflect on what changes you want to make personally, what dreams and goals and visions you have that maybe you haven't been making progress with. Now, now maybe you put something on the back burner, it's time to bring it back up and look at it again, a goal or a project. Oh, you've got sexuality, Haniel and medicine guardian. So I'm covering up <laughs> the Haniel card because it is the naked Venus. And I think there's some rules about that. I'm not able to show nude, nude photos. So even though it's a piece of art, uh, I won't show it. But so sexuality and, and we've got healing. Be open to healing information. I think Taurus you're getting to know yourself better this month getting to know your needs better your sexual needs your intimacy needs your emotional needs your perhaps inner mother inner father and understanding where healing needs to occur in your inner masculine inner feminine i feel like this is a great month for you taurus to receive healing and to understand how to change maybe some old patterns to understand how to meet your needs in a more effective way. You might be looking at old belief systems, your childhood, even past lives, Akashic records. Pardon, pardon me for the, for the beeping. You might have information come up about parts of you and your psyche, your shadow that you need to change. Pay attention to it this month. And you're going to have a lot of healing that you experience, even a regeneration of ideas, um, your inspiration, your imagination, even the feeling of, of um, romance and, and sexuality. That's, that's a potential for you to really make some progress with um, maybe moving past some obstacles or, or releasing some stagnant energy and get that moving, that energy moving again, release what you need to release. And this is a card about making decisions. It's about analyzing and understanding your choices. So this is a great month to do that. So blessings, Taurus, have a beautiful December. Hello, Gemini, welcome. Gemini, let's see just wash my hands so my hands are a little wet okay here we go gemini oh we got the sun we got ace of cups gemini tuning into your energy i feel like gemini you do have such a release of energy around you have the opportunity to release something which is really unleashing it's really been a theme collectively as i've tuned into december's energy but i feel like you have the opportunity to really unleash some energy by you've either let go or you have the opportunity to let go of some energy things, situations, relationships, old patterns, and, and you have this new sunny energy entering your life. This is a solar eclipse coming up this weekend. So you have this new sunny energy entering your life or the potential for it, Gemini. And I feel like Geminis who have been feeling a little isolated have the opportunity to have a rebirth and feel that connection this month, feel more love flowing into your life, feel more connected with others. And I feel, so I feel like the energy around you, Gemini, is heart-centered, taking time to understand your emotional needs, being more aware of the emotional needs of others around you. I feel like a lot of Geminis are taking time to smell the roses and you have the opportunity in December to um, take a break, take that holiday vacation and allow yourself to just be in the moment, be in your body, slow down a little, relax. And it's, it's really a beautiful energy for you. A lot of Geminis will find you can unpack a lot as you allow yourself to slow down. 
Your angel card is fire. So there's that sun again. And your angels and ancestors card is guardian angel. You are not alone. So that seems to be a repeated message for you. Gemini is shifting from feeling alone in some way, shape or form, feeling isolated. It, it may be emotionally. It may be in another life area. It may be in your career or spiritually or creatively, but you have the opportunity to shift into that awareness that you are never alone. You, I think a lot of Geminis are going to be able to tune into the cosmic energy around you, the angelic, the star being energy, the star energy and, and solar energy. Also your your ancestors alive and in the spirit world, your, your, your team here on earth. And as you're connecting more with those loved ones here and on in the spirit world, it's going to um, create a beautiful shift in your energy. You're going to have more inspiration. Here's the angelic um, card fire. You're going to be able to, and here's the fire of the sun. You're going to be able to feel more passion and inspiration more energy i feel like you can unleash a lot of energy gemini as you're able to create some space for yourself and some space in your schedule to tune into your heart energy and connect with others it's so important it's it's a theme that's come up with a lot of signs this month and just the general energy but i feel like for you definitely Gemini, um, you being able to focus on your personal life, taking some breaks, your hobbies, relaxation, what inspires you is going to unleash some energies and unleash more inspiration as you give yourself space to do that. Um, so what a beautiful energy for you, Gemini. And, you know, you might also, a lot of Geminis might have some cool things happening with your dreams this month. Pay attention to your dreams. You might have more vivid dreams. You might remember your dreams more. I feel like for a lot of Geminis, you're going to tune into creative ideas and the wisdom of your dreams um, and even spirit guides coming through your dreams. So blessings to you, Gemini. Thank you for tuning in. All right, moving on to Cancer. Hi, my moon children. Hi, my Cancers. Welcome. Your cards for December 2021 are Ten of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. So I'm tuning into your energy, Cancer. Cancer, I feel it's sort of a dichotomy with your energy. The part of you wants to expand, part of you wants to explore and, and have some adventures, part of you wants to just stay home, part of you wants to, you know, maintain that status quo. And that, that expansion of the 10 and the, the um, kind of pulling inward, pulling downward standstill of the hangman. You're finding ways to, I think, create more peace in your environment and even with your family. You're able to choose your words more carefully, choose how you interact with your family with the people around you, even if they're not your blood family, maybe choosing to interact with your community with more discernment and understanding how your words and actions have a big influence on others and how you can create more peace by using discernment, how you interact with people. But I feel like, you know, there is kind of this dichotomy with you, Cancer. Um, should I say something? Should I take action? Should I hold myself back? Do I want to go on that trip? Do I want to start this, this new adventure? Do I want to take this action? Or do I want to kind of go in my shell? Your angel card is Metatron and your angels and ancestors card is Broken Arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. So here's the repeated message of peace. You're figuring out how to create more harmony and how to be an agent of peace and harmony and positive change by maintaining the peace personally within your psyche and in your relationships. And I feel like a lot of cancers, pardon the beeping, I know that's so unprofessional, <laughs> sorry. Yes, it was the microwave. Anne has to eat too. Defrosting something. So. Thank you for forgiving me, Cancer. You know, you like to cook, most Cancers. 
So Metatron, Metatron and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you are more aware of your thoughts. You're more aware of your communication. Metatron is all about thought communication. And you can be more aware, Cancer, of your higher mind and your higher intentions that you're setting. Allow that super consciousness to come through, like Metatron, that higher consciousness to come through, connected with the Godhead, connected with the Divine Mother, Father, and helping you to understand when is the right time to speak? When is the right time to take action? And when is the right time to hold back? Maybe, you know, you realize cancer that there's something that's not appropriate for you to push right now. There's not, it's not the right timing for something to confront or bring out or address directly that you, it's more beneficial to you and those around you to bide your time. So pay attention to the super consciousness coming through, pray about it and um, tune into that higher consciousness your inner wisdom, when is the right time to address something? What's the right approach? Maybe even looking at different communication skills I can learn, but you have beautiful abundance coming to you and harmony and peace with these cards and, and what they're pointing towards. So blessings and abundance and love to you, Cancer. Thank you for tuning in. Next, we have Leo. Hi, Leo. Here are your cards for December 2022. We've got the Devil and the Emperor for Leo. Leo, I'm, I'm tuning into your energy. I feel like you are feeling your self-esteem, pride, courage. You are appreciating your own mastery, and you're also aware of maybe some shadows that you're wanting to work through. And December with the eclipse coming up is a great time to begin to understand of begin to understand maybe what you what's been just beneath the surface of your awareness that might be a problem. This could be your own shadow. It could be what you're attached to. It could be something you've been a little bit in denial about. It could be a priority you realize is not really a priority. And, you know, the devil is about our attachments and can be um, pointing to ask you to look at where are my attachments and are they beneficial or not? And are you overly attached to a situation? Are you fearful of losing something or not having it. Um, the devil can be about the things in our consciousness we're repressing or not admitting to ourselves as well. And so I feel like for you, Leo, you're, you're able to be a better leader. You're able to take charge of your own life as you're able to let go of maybe other people's judgments of you. Um, of taking yourself too seriously, of um, maybe not making room for other people's opinions. So it could be either way. It could be overly influenced by others, caring too much what other people think, even people pleasing, or not considering other people's point of view. And, you know, it's important to have both. It's important to be able to consider other people's perspective and input, but also have confidence in ourselves and use discernment about who we really allow to influence us and how. I feel like you're, you're being guided though, Leo, to maybe lighten up a little. And as you lighten up and kind of laugh at yourself a little, you can see your strengths and maybe say, oh, well, we all have a growing edge and here's my growing edge. I might be able to do some release work and reprogramming as I see the areas where I can grow. You've got joy for your angel card and druid hold the space for your angels and ancestors card. Leo, I feel like you, you know, you are feeling your, your power this month. You're able to feel more your mastery and your ability to have influence in your life, your ability to influence others, to manifest, to make progress in and create what you want to create. You have more appreciation of your 
mastery with understanding some of the laws of the universe and how to interact with people, how you influence people. It's really quite powerful, Leo. I feel like you have a lot of um, just natural joy opportunities or energy around you, Leo. And I feel like for a lot of Leos, you're interested in this, the social component of how you influence others and interested in using your mastery, your leadership ability, your confidence to create, um, create a joyful atmosphere for yourself and others in your holiday gatherings this month as you connect with friends and family. I feel you might find you're feeling very generous, you're feeling very compassionate, and you're able to understand how to perhaps advise others or model for others certain behaviors. I feel like there's also a spiritual dimension to you, Leo, this month. You're able to create a space in your life. Maybe it's even an altar. Maybe it's a new spiritual practice or you're re, re, um, resurrecting a spiritual practice that you used to have where you have more of a ritual for inviting in the divine into your life. And like I said, this could be an altar. It could be a meditation practice. It could be going to some temple or spiritual place. But I feel like a lot of Leos are going to have the opportunity to connect with your guides and higher self around some sort of physical space and understanding that you can be a part of a spiritual group and creating that sacred physical space because you do have this leonine powerful energy to hold the space to be confident enough to and enough of a leader to be present in that space and that can really affect others as well and it can also help you to create that space for yourself to draw in your spiritual team your spirit guides higher self your connection with your your higher power and i think you really do have the opportunity to connect with some some ascended masters higher spiritual entities this month leo so thank you so much for tuning in have a beautiful december leo blessings And moving on to Virgo. Hi, Virgo. Virgo, your cards are the Hero Fonts and the Eight of Wands. So, Virgo, I'm turning into your energy for December 2021. Well, Virgo, I feel like, you know, you're a man with the plan, or the woman with the plan, or the person with the plan. You have a lot of planning energy this month, Virgo, and you're making strides in understanding how to tweak your plans. This is the card here of organization structure. I feel like, Virgo, you're feeling more organized and you're feeling like a lot of Virgos, you're making some headway, you're making some progress with understanding what is needed for enacting your plan actually putting your plan into action. This is an action card. So I feel like a lot of Virgos, you have the opportunity not only to have some clarity with your plans and preparations and organizing your thoughts and, and what you want, but also you have the energy behind you, Virgo, to really make some progress and to take action and to bring your plans and ideas out into the world. Um, I feel like a lot of Virgos might be traveling. I feel like a lot of Virgos might be involved with organizations. And sometimes, you know, Virgo and in being involved with organizations, whether that's government, religious, your the agency that you work for, that it can be, you know, really inspiring to some. And even if you're not into organized religion or what have you, you can be inspired by the structure of a larger organization, and that can help you to structure your own life, Virgo. But I feel like, you know, there's also some letting go as you finally have to make the decision, what action do I want to take and actually take that action. I feel like um, 
you're, you're feeling some resolve this month, so Virgo, which can really help you to move forward. You've got blessings for your angel card and white witch be the light for your ancestors and angel card. Angels and ancestors card, excuse me. Virgo, I feel like you are very intuitive this month. And I feel like you are seeing, you know, the owl is all about intuition in the spirit world. I feel like you're seeing beyond the veil and you're able to see the light in other people. You're able to see the potential in other people. You're able to also see, see past illusions to the truth and see um, how people are really affecting one another, perhaps in a group, how someone you know is really affecting you. Um, you're able to feel the energy of someone, maybe even when other people around you aren't really able to see this person clearly. But I feel like you're more in tune with your intuition in general, Virgo, and you're better able to use this intuition to help you understand what decisions to make how to make decisions. You have blessings coming to you. It's a beautiful, blessed holiday energy. And I feel like, um, you know, there's, there's a desire and an opportunity to appreciate the beauty in life, appreciate celebrations and family and the loved ones in your life. And I feel like Virgo, you're able to kind of take things a little less seriously this month and kind of let go and play. And this is gonna help you to make that progress I was talking about. You know, the eight of wands is all about action, progress, sudden, sudden action, um, momentum. And I feel like, you know, sometimes Virgo, you get a little stuck in your head, don't we all, overanalyzing perfectionism. But I feel like, you know, you're, you're able to lighten up this month. If you can, if you can use this energy of this month to, be earthy, be um, magical, but also this card says be the light. It's about being the light, being free and open. Blessings, allowing your inner child to come out and not taking everything so seriously. That's going to open up a lot of doorways for you, Virgo, in your energy, and you will be able to feel more blessings. You will be able to tune into your intuition easier. So um, beautiful energy for you, Virgo, have a beautiful, blessed December. Thank you for tuning in. And we're gonna move on to the next six signs. It's Libra through Pisces. I'm just laying out the cards, folks. Thanks for bearing with me. Okay. Libra, hi Libra, welcome. Libra, your cards, judgment and the page of wands. These are your tarot cards for December 2021. So I'm tuning into your energy, Libra. I do feel like Libra, you're able to leave something behind. You're able to look to the future more and let go of the past. You have the opportunity to let go of something in your past. You have the opportunity and Venus does go retrograde. So this is a time of healing and being able to go back to the past and heal some of that, reassess some things, um, revisiting relationship stuff and healing. So you might find some relationship stuff come up. So I feel like you are going to be able to release something definitely in December, Libra, and you're able to kind of let go of some baggage, be lighter, be freer. You've got the page of wands, which is all about inspiration and new energies, ideas, and new beginnings. It can also be about some messages, but you have that new fiery kind of young energy in your life. I feel like a lot of Libras are going to be inspired in December. A lot of Libras might be inspired to do some writing or some creative projects. 
um, you're able to listen to ideas of others and and be able to intake those receive those process those and use that for your own creativity and it really has to do with how much you're able to let go of and make the space for those creative ideas to flow through i feel like um there's just this playfulness about you as well libra as you're able to be more playful and lighten up be a little bit more childlike play around with some things take some risks that it frees up your energy as well but the judgment might have to do libra with forgiveness letting go um you know letting other other people make decisions even if you don't agree with it coming to terms with people are who they are um you know maybe not everybody gets you or appreciates you or agrees with you or um does what you want them to do how dare they how dare everyone not do exactly what i say they do so you might have to do some letting go libra um letting go of expectations and control and you know forgiving yourself forgiving others you know coming to terms with where, where you are in your life as a way to, you know acceptance is the doorway to change and can open the doorway for positive new energy to come in you've got lady enjoy growth and reap rewards and you've got truth that's your angel so you've got the and we've got apple which is a so venusian so venus um you've got this card of rewards and success i think a lot of libras you're going to be finding you have a realization that you have the resources needed to create your success you um are feeling the momentum towards your success you're feeling that bright energy as you put your mind to action you put your your ideas into action and you're able to see some rewards this month libra you're tuning into your own truth and i feel like a lot of libras are enjoying seeing other people prosper around them as well as enjoying your own prosperity and you're able to see the truth about relationships more this month you're able to see the truth about your own role in relationships this month that has to do with that judgment letting go this is about atonement it's about rebirth it's about a new beginning and a lot of it is about coming to terms with the reality and and accepting letting go this this brings in that new energy for you libra so you're you're just i just feel your strength libra as you're able to let go as you're able to sing your own song let go of maybe the people pleasing and let let go of others aren't doing things how I want them to do them. You're able to see so much more. Oh, there are people who are in harmony with me. There are opportunities in harmony with I do appreciate myself. I attract other people who appreciate me as I appreciate myself. But I feel like you're you're feeling that strength as you do that, Libra. And I can feel the strength within you. And these beautiful um growth and rewards, seeing the fruits of your labor um popping up this month in december so have a beautiful december libra thank you so much so much for tuning in hi scorpio welcome scorpio what do we have here we've got page of pentacles we've got the knight of swords scorpio magic in december tuning into your vibe scorpio i'm definitely feeling like a lot of scorpios have a big emphasis on relationships this month that a lot of scorpios are very inspired and and motivated to connect with people um, that you're less less likely to want to be alone in a lot of ways a lot of scorpios and i feel like you're, you're wanting to get your ideas down, Scorpio. I feel like you're wanting to take more action. You're wanting to take your ideas and, and move them out into the world. A lot of Scorpios are writing your ideas down, publishing, you know, creating that program, um, presenting what you have. It's about um, being aware of your insights, your imagination, your, your creative ideas and these 
these genius ideas that you want to move out into the world. And actually, you know, here's an earthy card, Page of Pentacles, actually bringing it into the earth plane. So that might be, you know, taking an action on the earth plane, getting a new job, presenting a project idea to someone, um, advertising, actually leading a group or creating that creative expressive project. It could be writing it down. And it's gonna really help you, I feel like, Scorpio, to take your ideas and actually take some steps towards them um, and create little baby steps towards change. And that creates the moment, momentum towards big steps happening. You've got take charge with authority, Lord, and grace. I think even as you begin to take action, you know, this is a card about action. Take charge with authority. So as you're taking charge, you know, being your own king and being your own Lord, what baby steps can I actually take towards my goal? Then, the, you know, that's opening this momentum for grace to flow through. The world is taking you so much more seriously as you're actually um, moving the physical matter on the physical plane towards your goal. And it's saying something to your unconscious mind. As you take an actual step or gesture, you create this, this momentum and, and more success and momentum happens towards your goals. So, Pay attention, Scorpio, to, you know, allowing yourself to be influenced by your higher power, by spirit, and allowing yourself to um, not just stay in your ideas and inspirations, but take that step, even if it's a really small one, and notice how the ideas flow even more after you take that first step. Notice how people respond to you and then you get inspired and then you have more um, to give to this project or you're just inspired and so you have more energy you want to give to this, this project. Take that action and then create that circuit of action, inspiration, action, inspiration. Even if you go through periods where you don't feel motivated or inspired, notice how you continue to take those baby steps it creates that momentum within you. Um, it improves your relationship with yourself, your confidence in yourself. And over the long term, that can create more momentum um, towards your goals and creates experiences where you actually make huge progress. So blessings to you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have, have a great December. Okay, next we have Sagittarius. Hi, Sagittarius. Yes, here we go. We've got Knight of Pentacles and Ten of Cups for your tarot cards, Sag. And we've got the solar eclipse happening in your sign, Sagittarius, new moon this weekend. So Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups for you, Sagittarius, for December 2021. Tuning into your energy. I feel like there's a lot of enjoyment around you, Sagittarius. A lot of you are going to be just feeling more at ease, able to enjoy yourself, a more easy flow of energy. Um, there's some of you might feel like, you know, there's trouble brewing underneath the surface um that you want to address but you're able to a lot of Sagittarians still have fun even if you see um there's some things in your life you want to change your um the eclipses in your sign you might be going through some big changes um I feel like Sagittarians you know you're able to do a lot of learning this month in a really easy way too that you're able to absorb information you're able to understand ideas if you just even do a little bit of studying, and that could be traditional or non-traditional kinds of study, you're able to just assimilate information really easily. It flows to you. Um, I feel like Sagittarius, you have these beautiful high ideals and you're more aware of these higher ideals and ideas and 
um, your, you know, your super consciousness, Sagittarius is all about super consciousness, and you're aware of how this can help you to learn, you're aware of how as you tune into your super consciousness and that expanded Jupiter mind, you're able to understand ideas with more flow and more ease because you're using that higher mind. You're using maybe your your heart, um, your heart intelligence. You're using the consciousness of that expanded mind, not just your your lower mind. And it helps you to learn and assimilate information. But there's also that you know emphasis on your personal life too and. Um, being able to tune into the joy and expansiveness around you. You've got stag, trust and thrive. And you've got communication. So you've got you've got some communication learning energy around you this month for sure, Sagittarius. You have the opportunity to understand how you learn, how you understand information, how you give information. I feel like Sagittarius, you might be in a position where you're communications are very influential on others where you're very influenced by a teacher or someone else's ideas and you can use that expanded mind of yours to understand which ideas um, you really want to internalize which you don't how you might be understanding more how you can communicate better by watching someone else and public speaking or or teaching so you've got the stag here, the deer, and you know this is a very um, Christ-like energy. The stag is another symbol for Christ, and I feel like you are really tuning into that um, Christ consciousness, Sagittarius. That giving, you know, your generous spirit, the the um, infinite love and fellowship, your ability to help others. I feel like you are able to sense other people's needs and able to really empathically tune in to others around you this month. And I feel like you're you're able to see people's potential, Sagittarius. And for some of you that, that might be frustrating because you can see the higher, you know, the ideal, the higher um, octaves of a person or, or a group or a situation, you can see the 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 best in people and and the potential and you know you can communicate with people and help to bring out the best in people but also be aware that you know sometimes you might see the best in people and that can lead to some distortions and it's also good to be aware of the reality of the situation where someone actually is as at the same time as you hold the the prayer and the intention and the awareness of their potential i think that can be so healing for people as you can do both you can accept them for who they are where they are but also see good things for them see their potential and hold that as a vision as well um and it's it's you know ultra compassionate and ultra christ-like i think to be able to do both and meet people where they are but also you know help join with them to open the door of possibility to things getting better and them them living their potential so blessings to you sagittarius have a beautiful blessed december thanks for tuning in that's capricorn hello my beautiful goat darlings don't you love goats you're Tarot cards, we've got Empress and we've got the King of Cups. All right. All right, Capricorn. Capricorn, I'm tuning into your energy. I feel like you're, you know, you're feeling the love. A lot of Capricorns are able to feel love from others this month. You have a very emotional um, vibration in these cards. You're able to receive the love of maybe family or friends this holiday. I feel like um, there's a circuitry in you, Capricorn. There's a circuitry of allowing yourself to receive and allowing yourself the opportunity to allow yourself to shift from the manager and the leader and the um, the action oriented productive one to the receptive, the emotional, the inaction, the intuitive, and you have the ability to shift into that energy this month, Capricorn. Um, you have Earth Guardian. Oops, excuse me. Dropping your Earth Guardian card. 
it's very earthy it wanted to it wanted to fly down to the to the earth stay rooted and grounded capricorn you're kind of a master at that and manifestation manifestation capricorn you could do some manifesting this month this is a manifestation card too this is a manifestation card of ease you know the king of cups is combining that leadership of the king the managerial mind and action logic and will with the with the feminine energy of the cups of the receptive the flowing the intuitive the allowing to unfold so i feel capricorn you're able to make man magical manifestations this month my friend it is a great month for manifesting we've got solar new moon eclipse we've got sagittarius i mean and then moving into your sign um just before christmas around at the solstice you know these are all great manifesting signs so you've got a lot happening astrologically but i feel like spirit is is wanting to guide you to manifest through unfolding manifest through flowing so let go of the forcing let go of some of that um over analyzing and over planning and you know sometimes capricorn you can push and push and it can be a little bit imbalanced and over emphasizing the will and planning and leadership and earthiness so i feel like spirit is saying those are all beautiful attributes you have combine that with the flow of the goddess of the divine mother with the empress where you just allow things to unfold think of nature think of the acorn you plant that acorn and it just unfolds it already has a plan that has been programmed into it and once you put it in the soil with the right conditions of water and sunlight that acorn just unfolds into the oak tree there isn't you know it's not continually planning and analyzing it's just unfolding so so use that power of unfolding Capricorn, use the power of setting your intentions and then letting it go. I, I'm writing about this in my blog this month in December, if you want to check it out. But I wrote about manifestation abundance through non attachment. So you got to detach in order and, and use that water element to detach and flow and let go in order to allow your oak tree to grow into its prosperous, um, divine, beautiful actual tree um earth guardian stay rooted and grounded so so stay rooted and grounded this holiday season don't take things too seriously try and you know have some fun capricorn try and do things to take care of your body do things to ground your body and nurture your body and do things that make you feel adored and nurtured and like a king or a queen and see how those man manifestations are just going to flow see how you're able to really unleash the power of your mind through that natural growth process of allowing so have a beautiful blessed month of december my friend capricorn thank you so much for tuning in oh i'm missing up my cards here all right we're coming down the home stretch with aquarius hi aquarius thank you so much for tuning in We've got nine of cups and we've got the page of swords. Aquarius, December 2021. I feel like there's a decisiveness with you, Aquarius. You are decisive. You've got a little sword and you're cutting through some things, maybe cutting out some things you're not afraid to make some decisions and you're um, able to just make decisions more objectively and move on as you're able to do that you're able to um, move on to bigger and better things and i think it can help your personal life too as you are making decisions maybe understanding what you would be best for you to cut out of your life or decrease or um, shift in focus and this helps you to really enjoy your your free time and enjoy the um, flow and prosperity of relaxation aquarius 
I feel like you are getting down to business though, even though nine of cups is really, you know, a joyful card of abundance and, and, um, partying party hardy. It's the card of partying hardy. It's also this, this energy with you, Aquarius, you know, around the holidays, you're feeling a shift in being able to shift gears in December, getting down to business, understanding the bottom line, doing what needs to be done. And I feel like the nine of cups is guiding you to lighten your load so that you can enjoy the party. And that might involve making the plan as a way to sort of give your mind something to hold on to so that you stop thinking about it over and over again so that you can just enjoy your life. You've got fire guardian, ignite your passion and peace for your angel card. So Aquarius, I feel like, you know, you're moving forward with your plan. And I feel this, you know, when I've tuned into you recently before and the Aquarian energy, I feel like you have the opportunity to just move forward with your plan in a more or less objective way, not caring so much about, you know, if other people agree, disagree. I feel like, you know, you're very focused Aquarius. You have the opportunity to follow your passion and just tune into what you know to be true. Tune into, you know, follow your bliss follow your bliss and you're, you're able to tune out from distractions. The more you're able to shift your focus and tune out from distractions, the more um, I think peace and harmony you feel and the more peace and harmony you feel with yourself. So, you know, for some Aquarians, you might have some distractions that you're dealing with or a bit of scattered energy or you know a bit of lack of focus and you know it is the holidays it's a good time to relax and and take a break and spend some time with friends and family but also if you know there's that dichotomy in you of you know i want to get to work no i want to relax no i want to get to work or i have all these ideas but i don't know how to take the first step just taking that step Taking that first step and clarifying what's most important can help you to move through that stuck energy and um, create the momentum towards making more progress, Aquarius. I feel like Aquarians, a lot of you are more aware you have this power around you. You have um, the mystical power of your imagination, your thoughts mixed with your decisiveness and ability to plan and, and take action. And you're feeling your, your mystical power to create miracles. This is a card of wishes fulfilled. You're, you're able to um, manifest your wishes as, as fulfilled desires, as you're combining that decisiveness and that organizing principle of your mind with your bliss. And it's been a theme with a lot of signs this month as, as I've tuned in, but, but I feel for you as well, Aquarius, that um, you're ready for change. And as you begin to make those changes, you're feeling more confident. And I feel like for a lot of Aquarians, um, your career is emphasized and you're better able to make decisions and let go of what you need to let go of in order to make progress in your career goals. So um, not just let go of what you want to let go of, but be decisive in what direction you go. And it may involve putting some things on the back burner. That's what decisions entail. So blessings to you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have fun with all of your abundant manifestations in December. Finally, we have arrived. We have arrived at Pisces. Hi, Pisces. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding. We keep pulling death and, and <laughs> change cards for Pisces. I think last month was the tower. We may have had death in November for Pisces. Going through a lot of changes, Pisces. Hi, Pisces. So here are your tarot cards for December 2021. We've got Six of Pentacles and Death. So Pisces, yes. 
Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. I feel like a lot of Pisces, you know, you're you're able to sort of take a step back and watch things unfold. You're, um, there's a lot of care right now. A lot of Pisces are feeling compassion for others. This is a card about compassion and care and giving. And I feel like a lot of Pisces, you know, you're very tuned into the collective energy. You're very tuned into the group energy. Others experience you're so empathic. And Pisces, I feel like you are observing other people and um, aware of other people's experiences, including their losses and including their challenges. Um, I feel like you're learning a lot by understanding group dynamics, Pisces, and understanding more as you observe others what you want. You're understanding as you um, are aware of others' emotions and needs, what your emotional needs are. And this is a card of giving and receiving. And it asks you to, Six of Pentacles asks you to look at, is it in balance? Is my giving and receiving with balance? Am I able to give and receive both? And is one more emphasized than the other? We need to have both balance. So I feel like Pisces, you have the opportunity in December to take stock of maybe where you're giving too much or not enough, where you're receiving too much or not enough. Do you have blocks in being able to receive? Gratitude is your angel card. And you know gratitude can unlock doors of receiving. When we're grateful, when we're in the attitude of gratitude and in that vibration of appreciation, it opens the doorway to receive. And so you might be more aware, Pisces, in December, in December um, where you're feeling maybe some, some blockages that you'd like to let go of. Maybe there's some resentments. Maybe there's some judgments of yourself or others. Maybe you need to do some forgiving of yourself and others or acceptance of um, how people are behaving, even if it's not how you want them to behave or, or is it with less than integrity. And shifting into gratitude and appreciation for what you do have in your life and your relationships. And this can open the door to, um, you know, both giving and receiving it. You know, we feel that beautiful Sagittarian flow this time of year of generosity as we're tuning into both giving and receiving, you know, physical gifts or just time, just, you know, love, um, spent with each other, um, feeling, feeling the giving and receiving. So pay attention to where, you know, you might be giving too much. You might be blocking up the flow with your own expectations or beliefs. You've got moon, take note of intuitive messages. So Pisces, you are very intuitive, even more so than usual this month. And I want you to, you know, pay attention to your body connecting with nature, connecting with the cycle of the moon as a way to ground yourself and use the cycles of the moon. We've got the solar eclipse coming up. Use the new moon, the full moon as a way to ground yourself and ground this energy. And, you know, it's a great time to assess in December in these eclipses where am I out of balance and how can I change? Death is about change and transformation. How can I learn to give with more integrity? Learn to give without judgment or attachment. Learn to receive with more integrity. Learn to receive without um, maybe the guilt or, um, you know, not allowing myself to receive that abundance. And as we do this and, and as we're able to be grateful for what people are actually giving us and actually able to receive it, able to receive love from ourselves, self-love and compassion, then, you know, it does really open those doors to groundedness and, and intuition, to abundance and feeling balanced. And I feel like you have the opportunity to, to bring more abundance and intuitive wisdom and grounding into your life and balance Pisces for December. So thank you so much for tuning in, Pisces.
balance that energy. Have a beautiful December. I'll see you next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you everyone for tuning in. Please visit my website for more information on the in-person and online groups that I facilitate. If you'd like to book a reading or a session, um, have a beautiful, blessed December. I'll see you next video. Blessings. Take care.